What we are going to discuss today is the uses and applications of the logic gates presented in this picture, available on the Minecraft wiki page under redstone circuitry. I'm actually going to omit a lot of things in this picture from this video because they are redundant, but I'll talk more about that as we get to them. 1. The input-output gate. This is the basic concept that every redstone creation operates under. Information coming in, such as a button, lever, timer, or another logic gate is called the input. Generally, logic gates accept multiple inputs and pass them through some kind of filter, or what I call a logic sentence, and the result that comes out of the other side is called the output. Example, everything involving redstone operates under the concept of inputs and outputs, even if it's as simple as a lever placed next to a door. The lever is the input, and the door is the output. 2. The NOT gate. Also called an inverter, this logic gate simply inverts the state of a redstone line. For example, an unpowered line becomes powered, and a powered line loses its power. Example, you want something, such as the pistons behind secret doors, to be on all the time, and only turn off when an input is received. Inverters are what let us do this. 3. The AND gate. This logic gate requires that both conditions are met before the output fires. Example, both lever A and lever B must be pressed in order to open the door. 4. The OR gate. This is a glorified way of showing that multiple inputs are attached to the same line. Example, this lever or this pressure plate will open the store, or any one of these levers will fire the output. 5. The 5 clock. This thing just pulses on and off. It's good for automating things. Example, anything that you want to just constantly turn on and off, like an automatic farm or something. Use your imagination. 6. The rapid pulser. The same concept as a pulser, except it fires much, much faster. Example, I use rapid pulsers to power the Schrodinger's glass in my automatic cobblestone harvester. 7. The Zor gate? The concept behind this one is simple. The output changes state each time either one of the inputs change state. Example, this can be used to attach multiple levers to the same light switch. Each switch has full independent control over the light, regardless of the state of the other lever. 8. The RS NOR latch. First of all, this picture is dumb. It doesn't work. See, this lever does nothing at all, while this lever has full control. So, we're gonna draw our own. This is a more accurate representation of an RS NOR latch. First, we pull the inputs away from the gate itself and we put a piece of redstone on top of each solid. Now, one button is capable of turning it on, while the other is capable of turning it off, like a split up lever. With the changes we've made, it operates how a memory cell is supposed to. It remembers the last input, even if it was a temporary surge of power, like that of a button. Example, I used RS NOR latches at the top of the dark spire in conjunction with a timer to regulate the water flows. We'll call it quits right here, because that's pretty much all the usefulness this picture can offer. But wait, didn't you forget a bunch of things? No, and here's why. The NAND gate, the NOR gate, the SNOR gate, and the RS NAND latch, pretty much everything that starts with an N, have all been omitted on purpose. It's because they're just things that we already discussed, the AND gate, the NOR gate, the ZOR gate, and the RS NOR latch, respectively, plus an inverter attached to the output. Really, you can attach an inverter to anything. You can attach anything to anything. In fact, if this theory is starting to click for you, you'll realize that a repeater is just two inverters. The only reason it's in this picture is because it was what people used to use before the redstone repeater was an actual item, and this version of the repeater is pretty much outdated and useless. After you mess with all this stuff for a while, you realize that these things are almost never enough to do what you want on their own. They are meant to be mixed and matched, attached to one another, and otherwise intertwined. Every video you've seen on amazing Minecraft creations, such as reenactments of Bomberman, functioning versions of Pong, calculators, and everything else is just some combination of these concepts sprinkled with little bits of ingenuity and creativity.